I'm going to show you how I make my super thin hair look thick. So I wanted to show you all the tips and tricks that I use. I used to be a hairdresser for 15 years, 15 plus years actually, well, a long time. Anyways, but before I get started, make sure you go subscribe down below if you want to see more of these. Here we go. So I don't have any product in my hair. It's clean. The thing about my hair is I have no natural curl. So I, when I blow dry it, this is how it air dries or blow dries. It's just flat to my head. So I'm gonna show you a few of the products that I love. I'm gonna put my hair in a ponytail just so you can see how thin it is. So really, I mean, I have to wind it around. I could wind it around again, but you know what I mean? I really don't have a ton of hair to work with. I do sometimes wear a halo, my halo extensions, but I wanna show you how I make it look thicker without the extensions. So one thing that's super important with my hair is I have to give it some grit and some texture. One of my very favorite products, and this is by Air. You see that? And it's called the Texture Air. This is my number one favorite product that they created. Okay, first of all, if a product works amazing, but I don't like the smell, I can't appreciate the product. So it smells so good, like you'd wanna use this as a body spray, that's how good it smells. If you actually, Confessions of a Hairstylist, she has a YouTube channel, her Instagram, you should follow her. She's the one who created this and she has a ton of good tips on how to style your hair. Anyway, so let me just show you. I just spray it roots to mid shaft. But watch when I flip my hair over, like how much texture and, and volume it already has and all I've done is spray on it. I'll go back here and get the back of my hair. Because the dirtier your hair is, not grease dirty. So my hair, if I skip a day of washing, it turns greasy, heavy, flat to my head. So I wash my hair every day and then I have to dirty it up with the texture spray. But it's like a dry, dirty. But it's still easy, like you can still run your hands through it. It's still soft. And that's kind of the base product that I start with. And then, I'm gonna show you what tools I use. And this is kind of an expensive tool, but I actually really love it. So this is called the Volume Rudy Root Lifter. And if you look at it, it's like a crimper, kind of, it's the craziest thing. So I'm gonna show you how it works. I go right by my roots around my whole head and I'll take it in sections. Sometimes on the lower pieces, I'll do one, two, but as I get closer to the top, I'll only stick close to my head so then it doesn't show through your hair. And then I'm gonna turn around so you can see. Okay, so once I've gotten that bottom layer down, then I'll do two things. So you can go do this through your whole hair, but today I'm gonna be curling my hair. And since I already have my hair half pulled up, I'm just gonna start curling those sections. So I'm doing my hair curly. I'm using a one inch curling iron barrel. This curling iron is very fine. I got it at Sally's. It's not anything that I recommend. So I do like the Hot Tools brand. I feel like for the money you pay, you get the best curling iron. I just happened to be at Sally's and they had this, so I bought it and I've just kept using it. When I curl my hair, I'll leave about two inches out and then that kind of gives it that straight end. The grip on this curling iron isn't very good either, so I feel like my hair slips through it. So that's another reason why I didn't love it. And this handle gets kind of hot. Probably don't go with the Ion brand curling iron. It's not terrible, so if it's like a really good deal, and you don't mind your hair slipping through. Just doesn't have a good grip. Okay, so I will link this texture spray down below. So this is a professional product. If you, actually, if you have a license, you can get this at Salon Centric, or you can order it online if you don't have a license. And I have a coupon code for this one too. I believe it's Betsy. This one, you wouldn't think it's dry shampoo. In the hair, I wash my hair every day, so why would I use dry shampoo? The dry shampoo also gives you texture, so I can use this as I spray in between layers. And this is from Walmart, so it's Lazy Day Dry Shampoo, and it's created by 
Mindy McKnight. She's the one who created this, uh, the brand is Heritage. So I'll use that and just kind of dirty it up a little bit more. I have to use a lot of products to get this hair to look thicker. So then I'll take another section. And I just use a clippy to hold it up there. And then I just repeat that same process where I go and um, crimp. Can you see that? I, I did two layers this time. And if you happen to grab some from the previous layer, doesn't matter, crimp it twice. And you can adjust the heat settings on this. So I'm using it at 395, but you can change it up and down. This I got on Amazon and I'll link that as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and curl all of those sections again. So the difference between the Lazy Day Dry Shampoo and the Texture Air, they both offer texture. I would say the Lazy Day Shampoo or Dry Shampoo gives it a little bit more of a dry, dusty texture where the Texture Air, when you spray it on, it's not wet, but it almost it's cold. So it feels a little bit wet, but I'll use it even too at the end and I'll spray my ends just so that the curls kind of have a little texture to them. So it's truly one of my favorite products. Well, I actually love all the products I'm gonna show you, so. Okay, and I'll use the Lazy Day Dry Shampoo. You're supposed to stick to your roots with this one. I kind of let it hit my roots mid shaftish, So I like it to have grit through more of my hair. Sometimes too, I'll even take it through. I will switch between the Air Flexible Hold hairspray and also the um, Wiggle Room. And this one's also available at Walmart. It's Heritage by Mindy McKnight. So you can also use that one in between and just kind of spray. They're both kind of a fine mist spray. So there you go. My hair, I'll leave about two inches out and then that kind of gives it that straight in. The grip on this curling iron isn't very good either, so I feel like my hair slips through it. So that's another reason why I didn't love it. And this handle gets kind of hot and um, critical. Can I get those roots? Can you see that? I, I did two layers this time. And if you happen to grab some from the previous layer, doesn't matter, crimp it twice. So this is about as high up as I'll go with the crimper. Any higher than that, my hair just separates and you'll see the crimping through it. But I like that even if you kind of shake it, it you, you don't notice the crimping quite as much. And then when your hair goes over it, it just looks like you've got volume. So back to curling. And honestly, I don't have to take a ton of sections because my hair is so thin. The thicker your hair is, the more sections you'll want to take for your curl to have that curl hold. And sometimes I go with the one and a quarter inch curling iron if I want more of a straight curl. This gives it like a good medium curl, I'd say. Not super tight, but the one inch is a good curling iron to have. I like it even like when my daughter was younger, it was the curling iron size that would her hair would still hold the curl. Another thing is if you're like, my hair doesn't hold curl, maybe check your curling iron. I remember I had a friend and she's like, my hair doesn't hold curl. And we traveled together and I forgot my curling iron. And so I'm like, hey, can I borrow your curling iron? I forgot to bring mine. So she let me borrow her curling iron and I tried it and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's not your hair, it's your curling iron. So some curling irons don't get hot enough to keep your hair curly. So you wanna think of your hair like fabric. So you're gonna iron a fabric and you're gonna put the iron, the hot iron on your fabric, but you're gonna, well, you wanna move quickly. So if your iron's not getting hot enough, it's not gonna curl that hair. You also don't wanna have it super hot, leave it on there forever and scorch your hair. Just treat your hair like you would a fabric and you're ironing your fabric. So maybe that doesn't help. Okay, um, I'm gonna do a little more. The dry shampoo. I don't think I'm gonna mix actually. Sure. And really, I just go, by feel, like what feels good. So before I pull that top layer down, I'll take my 
Cornette brush and I can link them. They have some on Amazon. You'll love this brush because you can go, you can rat your hair and make it super ratty, but then you can go comb over it and you're not uncombing where you just ratted, but you don't see that big ratty mess. So let me show you back here. So you can create, see how much ratting I did? And then you can kind of smooth it over, but yet the ratting is still in there. So I'll kind of rat the ends a little bit. I'll rat around here. And you want to put the ratting at the bottom half of your, or the, this bottom part of your hair, and then this part can be smoother and softer on top. And then. Okay, and then this is what I do for my top layer. I actually don't love like a perfect even part, so I'll just kind of go with however my hair falls. I'll brush it forward and I curl this one like this. I pull it in front of my face. So then the other thing you can do with these curls back here, make sure that you're lifting the curl or your hair up off of your head as you curl them back and that gives it some more body too. I'm gonna leave those ends out. Because the, the further you drag out that curl, the flatter it goes till you get to the curl. So I usually like to get it right on top. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. Looks good either way. Just kind of show them how I do it. And I'll take this section. So this is about, I don't know, an inch back. And I like to rotate these closer to my face. And then it kind of covers your forehead a little bit more. So then I will spray it with one of your hairsprays. While the curls kind of cool down. Let it cool for a second. And then I'll go in and sometimes I'll go under this underside and I'll just wrap just a little bit and then smooth it out on top. So if I wrap back here, I can kind of smooth it out. The hole, I'm gonna curl that one just a little bit, try that root. So here at the end, this is where I'll use that texture spray again. And I almost like scrunch it in. Can you even see the difference? How it just gives you some body. And that is how you get thin hair to look thicker and last. It really does last all day. So unless you go to the gym and sweat a ton, but otherwise it should still stay good. So if you guys like this video, you want more info, ask questions down below and I'll try to answer them. I will try to link these. This one, I'll find a better link for the curling yarn that I like better. This one's from Amazon and then I'll link the other products that I use. Oh, one more that I didn't talk about is the texture, the dust. And I'll use those if I'm like wanting my hair to be straight and like I'll wrap my hair and then kind of smooth it over this. You just need a few little, I'll show you here. Sprinkles of this one. And that will give you some like grit at your roots as well. And that's more of like a dusty, that dusty dry kind of similar to the dry shampoo but you can find those at Walmart. So that's always another op good option because there's always a Walmart near you.